Hey everybody, I got a new job, new project today, kind of unexpected. A uh, refrigerator stopped running. This old girl's pretty old, it's a whirlpool. Man, vintage in the 80s. And, and it stopped running. And um, based on the symptoms, uh, it looks like the problem is, um, it's in the system. It's either uh, this relay or uh, the overload which is still attached. Typically most of these refrigerators take a starting relay on the compressor that mounts actually right to the side of the compressor. Um, mine doesn't even have a capacitor, it's just a starting relay. Um, relay looks like that. It's, it's an old mechanical one. And Whirlpool, it's discontinued. Whirlpool doesn't have any. Uh, near as I can tell, this has a, gen a GE part number on it, and uh, GE no longer makes such a thing. They're out of that business. So the, the replacement these days is what they call a solid-state relay. And so they, they use a relay that looks like that, and the overload gets changed, and it looks like, it looks like one of these. The odd thing is that this is the second one, it's just coincidence, but it's the second one I've had to work on in about two months, three months, eh, three months, whatever. Um, I have another one that's not nearly as old as this, um, that uh, stopped, stopped running and I thought perhaps the compressor had failed. Um, and I couldn't get one of these parts immediately, but Whirlpool offered a kit for it. Uh, a replacement kit, and so I did some troubleshooting and said, "Well, I took this, um, I took this one off, and I shook it, and I could hear parts rattling inside." So I said, "Eh, that doesn't sound so good." So I um, I purchased a kit for that one, and I had to empty all the stuff out of the fridge because it took about a day to get it shipped to me. But that fired right back up, and it's running like a champ again. So anyway, so on this old one. Since the, the, even the kits are discontinued, um, I started hunting around and, uh, and found a, what, they, what the company calls a universal replacement that will replace thousands of old uh, systems like this. So I decided to give that a try. And basically, um, this is a competitor's part number kit. This particular kit comes from a company called SUPCO, S-U-P-C-O. And it is supposed to be equivalent, actually, to a Whirlpool kit that still exists. And, you know, one of the things with the kits is that when they get this old, most of them are gone. And it's probably not worth it for Whirlpool to keep making kits. And one of the challenges I see when I got into this one is, uh, you know, you have to do some wiring. you got to crimp some connections because the, the, the uh, connection scheme is different on these solid-state ones than it was on the old ones. Now, they call this a solid-state relay, and in some ways, when I first saw that, I said, solid-state relay, what are you, you know, what are you doing? It actually, according to the way the print, or the spec is, they call it a PTC relay. Um, and in my experience in the past, um, PTC, we use PTC heaters, po uh, positive temperature coefficient. In other words, it's a solid-state resistor that limits current as it gets hot. So it starts out with low resistance, as it heats up it gets to be more resistance. And so as I look at the wiring diagram that they provide, the PTC relay goes across the motor re re winding, it goes from the motor winding down to the start winding. And so when the motor wants to start, it'll put current across both windings. And then as that current to the start winding as that thing element heats up it starts it cuts off the current to the start winding and apparently it must do that in milliseconds quarter second I mean it's very fast and, uh, and in any case um, I'm gonna try um, to replace this old dog with what's considered the new tech stuff and adapt my wiring and see if I can get this fridge to run. Um, 
I did have the old wiring diagram that came out of this one, so I've got something to look at. And it does give me uh, connections. Let's take a look and, uh, and see what it takes. you got to remember before you dig into this is, you know, before you open up any of these connections, the power needs to be pulled and you should really wait until things cool off a little bit. And then you can pop that open. Alright, so this is how mine is put together. It's got this cover over the connections on the side. And you pop this, I have to pop this open with a screwdriver just a little bit. And pull the cover back off. And then the overload on this one just sits in this cover and it's got it's got two wires. This is the old overload which also isn't available which is why it's getting replaced too. And then the white wire for the common on the compressor is up on top. The, let me get, let me start by pulling the, okay so there's the old relay right there and the red wire sits on it one feed, feeding the compressor and then the white wires on the top terminal which is the common and according to the um, according to the markings on top of this um, on top of this relay it says it's, it says M over here on this side and it says S over there on that side so it should be run and start on the windings and then the common on top at least on this one I mean different ones have different wi wiring but but that's the old one the challenge will be right now is that it, mostly is that I'm going to need to hook up wires and make sure that they're correct we'll get to that here in a second so according to this one S, S and M or start and motor and according to the sheet that I have for this one which is called a 1C102 um, their wiring sheet says that uh, terminal number 5 is on run and terminal number 6 is on start and if I go to the back here there's 5 that's run there's 6 start if I turn it around so that you know, run and start matches matches run and start so that's all good. So the part lines up and matches that. And the the overload will just go on on that upper terminal. If I turn it the right way. It should sit on there like that. Over the over the top of the over the top of this guy like something like that. So while I'm at it here, I've got my meter and I'm just gonna, this is just like being triple checking. Um, I'm gonna put my, put my negative uh, common lead on common and I'm just gonna check the compressor windings really quickly. And so if I go in with the red, on the start side, read seven and a half, and the sheet says six to twenty-two. Actually, it reads eight now. It says six to twenty-two for start, so that's in range. And this one is motor, and it's reading two and a half, and that's in range for run, which is by the by the original sheet is one and a half to six so it's in the middle of band okay that's just like a triple check confirmation that, that we're hooking things up the correct way now the next thing I, I need to do is I'm going to need to replace this terminal with one you know with a quarter inch um, lug that'll go on there and then this one I'll need to cut the red off and do the same thing because the 
This new one says, uh, on the instruction sheet, says that the feed ought to come on to terminal number two, which is this one. And then life ought to be good. So the way this thing is going to install isn't really very hard. Um, the overload goes up here on top, like so. And the starting uh, solid state relay goes on the bottom like that and kind of holds it in place and so terminal 2 is one I got to feed here and this is the one that comes back out and then I need to get wires um, connected so we're going to clip these guys off and strip them and I've got some uh, some official um, female uh, disconnects. These happen to be insulated. Um, they're quarter inch ones and they'll uh, they should work just fine. They're inside the box so they don't really have to be insulated but now technically speaking looking at this wire it says it's number 18 but it's got a really heavy jacket on it. And I'm going to clip it just a little bit. I'm going to leave just a little bit here. Just a stub in case for some reason I have to go back and splice it and put it back together with the old parts, which aren't working, so it's not likely. But <clears throat> but we're going to do that first. Here's my handy dandy wire strippers here. And I don't know. Don't need a lot of. It's going to go inside there. I don't need a lot of wire sticking out, so I'll strip it fairly short. Like so. until it bottoms out. Actually I'm going to go just a little bit further. Just to be sure. Yeah, that ought to go all the way in. Push her in until the Insulation bottoms out like so. Get my crimper. Yeah, that won't crimp far enough. I need this one. There we go. Give that a good crunch. Tight. Looks like it. Okay, just spin that, make sure it goes on all the way to the bottom. Oop, came loose. Darn it. Okay, well, that's why you test them. Didn't get it crimped far enough. Well, that's kind of a surprise, but, but it happens. Make sure we get it down all the way here. Move over just a hair and do it again. Make sure it's down all the way. OK. 
Okay, that's better. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but but it didn't. All right. So red wire should go down here on number two, like so. And this one should go on number one up above. Let's see if we got enough slack to get the cover on. That was the only thing I was a little worried about. Was when I took out the overload, I lost a little bit of wire length. Number one, number two, everything's pushed on tight. Yeah, it's going to make it. in and see if she works. Hold your breath. Yeah, fired right up. Well, that looks like a good one. All right. I can button her back up, put the cardboard uh, shields on the back here, and tuck her away. So this is a picture of the kit that I got from Supco OLK9713. And then these were the wiring instructions that I downloaded from Supco's website for the IC102 and then just for fun this is my old Whirlpool wiring diagram from back in the day and this is the wiring for the compressor and for the old relay and its overload Well, that worked. She's back up and running. That wasn't so bad. Uh, now I can go back and work on other projects. That's all for now.